hello gang thanks for joining us we're gonna have like a, a little bit of a chilled out vibe today when i share with you something else special in my retro fitness collection and it is this it's Angela Lansbury's 1990 Positive Moves book. Now this came out after the success of her um, Positive Moves VHS, which was in 1988. You've probably seen clips of the iconic video. There is um, a bathtub scene which has gone down in history. I'm not going to reenact that for you today, I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to look at chapter two, which is named Greeting the dawn. It includes her stretch routine, which is about 15 minutes of really gentle morning stretches. What you're going to need is a towel, Angela's rules, um, and a chair, or I'm going to use a stool. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a beautiful peach jumpsuit, such as the one Angela wears in the video. But if you do have one, please make sure you put it on to really get into the feel of this. And join me on the mat for this gorgeous retro stretch out. Okay, let's get started. Now these stretches Angela says she did to give herself a lightness in the body, to release herself from almost a prison where she felt captive to her aches and pains. So we're just going to go nice and slow and release all the tensions as she suggests. So nice even stance. We're going to take a big breath and reach the arms up to the sky. Nice and slow. Stretch up real high with a big breath and bring them down. We're going to do this four times. And we're going to what she called an almost elegant bow. So we're gonna pop our hands together, raise them up to the sky, bring them down, and scoop them up. So all the way up, bring them down, scoop them up as you bend your knees and let your back roll forward. Keep it going with that. Scoop. Reach and stretch, bring them down. We're gonna get a couple more. Remember to keep that breathing nice and even. Okay, back to the center, arms out to the side. We're gonna take a side. Bend, so arm overhead. Feel a big stretch all the way down your side. And over to the other side. This one's a nice, simple one. We got four more, it's two each side. Just as far over as you feel comfortable doing. As long as you're getting that big stretch down your side, releasing the tension. Back to the center, okay. So you can bring your feet in a little bit now if you like. All we're gonna do is lift up those shoulders like a shrug and then release nice and fast. So slowly up with a big breath, huh, drop them down. Angela pointed out in her book that we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders. I think we all know that. This is a really nice way just to loosen them up. First thing in the morning. <sighs> you can do those big breaths too if you like. We go one more all the way up. Whew, and all the way down. So we're kind of working from the top down to the bottom. We're going to take some simple neck stretches. So let your ear drop to your shoulder. And then slowly over to the other side. You get it. We're going to keep going with this. 
You let that ear drop as far down to your shoulder as you can without reaching your shoulder up. So you really feel the stretch down the side of your neck. I actually love doing these ones. And then we're gonna do a similar movement, but this time we're gonna drop it forward and back so your chin comes down to your chest, and then you lift your head up to the sky. So chin to chest, really feel a big stretch down the back of your neck, and then slowly but surely drop it back. Lock up to the sky. Back forward. And keep going with those nice breaths as you do this. We're going to get one more forward and one more back. Really let yourself go into it. Awesome work, well done. Ooh, just adjust my little uh, headpiece. So we're gonna get some shoulder rolls now. So all it is, is you lift your shoulders up and roll them back, bring them forward. So from the sides up, round and forward. Up, round and forward with those breaths now we're going to take this one a little bit bigger so we're going to use the arms up Ooh, back real nice and then we'll repeat this but we're going to take it forward so up forward and around another kind of undervalued stretch and warm up this one Ready to make it big? We're gonna take it up, forward, and around. I always get some real big clicks when I do this. One more for luck. So now we get to the really exciting section that Angela called her on land swimming section, something that she invented herself. So basically, we're gonna take a breaststroke Take your arms forward, twist, push them out and back and all the way around again. So as if you're doing breaststroke in the swimming pool, it's so nice to open up your chest like this, get those pecs stretched out and also your shoulder blades. Let's do two more because it's real nice. <laughs> And then she likes to do the backstroke. So we do the backstroke one arm at a time with a little head follow, okay? So we're gonna take one arm back and look over the shoulder, other side. Whew. Hey, online swimming is underrated. You take it nice and slow and just feel every muscle that you're using engaged but you're also relaxing let's get a couple more of these all right feeling good okay so we're gonna grab our towel as suggested by Angela I've just got a normal kind of bath towel here I've rolled it up into a little kind of tube and we're going to hold it kind of just past hip width apart and we're going to take it up to the top when we get there we're going to take it back as far as you can without like overarching your back so just push it back till your shoulders are really activated and bring it down Whew. it's actually quite a lot of heat going on there up and down Whew. 
is real nice because I know a lot of us spend a lot of time with our heads kind of bowed over computers and phones and things. So this is a really nice one for straightening out up there, just realigning. Let's get two more. Last one. We're gonna keep the hands up here and then we're gonna take like a little kind of, she calls it like an archery move. So we're gonna bend one arm and then the other. So the towel stays behind your head from the back. Nice and slow, remember. We're going to reach up, one bends, one stays straight. Last one. Okay, bring that towel overhead, down in front of your hips if you need to bring your hands in a little bit. And all we're gonna do is take a little hip twist. So we're gonna twist it round to one side, and then the other. So you can follow it round with your head. Ooh, it's actually so warm in here now. We got a few more. I find it helps to pull your kind of tummy in while you're doing these. Really activate your core while you're twisting round. Get it set up for the day. One more each side. Ooh, back to the middle so we're gonna say thank you towel I'm gonna pop that over there and now you can bring in a chair I don't have a chair so I'm gonna use my stool but if you've got a chair with a back that you can hang on to that's what's um, recommended and we're gonna get some nice lower body stretches you can do these without the chair but I'm feeling like we should do it how Angela recommended okay so we're gonna pop a chair in front. You're just gonna pop your hands on the back wherever it is. You could also use like a banister or a bar on the wall or whatever you've got. So you're gonna pop your hands here. All we're gonna do is have a little bend in our knees. So bend in the knees, tummy pulled in. And we're gonna keep the back straight, reach down to the chair and then come on up. So your idea is to keep this bit as straight as possible. Your legs stay nice and bent. And when you do this, you should be able to feel it in your hamstrings down the back. A little bit in your quads as well. Whew. All right. Keep it going with this. We'll get four more, okay? I do realize mine's a little bit low. I think this is four. <laughs> okay, fave coming up, called the prance. Not by me, by Mrs. Lansbury herself. So, hands on whatever you're holding. Again, you could pop them on your hips if you want. And all you're gonna do is take one foot, straighten it, and then the other. So we're gonna keep our toes on the floor here. It's like a little foot massage. So we're gonna do a few more of those. So just taking it in turns for the slow motion prance. And then we're gonna go up a level. So this time, we're gonna bend one foot, lift it off the floor. Bend and lift. So I like to think it like keep all your toes on the floor and the foot off and then lift. We got three. Oh yeah, prancing it out. Two and one. Oh, feeling good. Last couple of movements coming up. I hope you're having such a nice time as I am. Okay, where are we going? I had to write it down because there's a lot to remember. Uh, okay. We're gonna get a nice little calf stretch. So, one leg is gonna come back and you're gonna pop the foot flat onto the floor and then bend your front leg, okay? We're gonna straighten 
and bend. So the back foot is staying on the floor and you're getting that cute little calf stretch, okay? If you're finding that your heel comes up a little bit, that's okay. In time, it'll flex up a little bit and you'll be able to hold it down. I believe that to be eight. I'm so sorry if I miscounted. If I did, you do eight. And then swap legs. So back foot flat on the floor. Front bends. Back stays straight, back leg. Core is still engaged here. You don't want to be kind of hunched over. You want a nice strong upright core. And we are putting a little bit of weight on that chair as well. I think that's five, six, seven, eight. Feeling good. Okay, so the penultimate. All right, we're gonna keep here. We've got bent legs like we did in the first place, so there's no tension in your knees. They're nice and soft. Hands on the back of whatever you're using. And all we're gonna do is arch your back and then flex it. So this is a bit like a cat cow. In yoga, Angela calls it simply the bent knee cat. Push it up. Oh, that feels good. Uh, uh. Flex it out. So convex and concave. Let's get one more. Still engaging that core, keep your tummy pulled in tight. There we go. So to finish off, Angela suggests rolling your body down to, I'm gonna pop that out there so I don't headbutt it. Roll your body down to the floor so you've got your soft knees. Let your hands hang down wherever is comfortable. I'm gonna straighten up those legs and then one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna roll the body up all the way to the top let's get to our fullest height reach those hands up to the sky bring them down beautifully and let's give a yes sir to Angela Lansbury <laughs> now Angela says that after you've done your stretches you might experience a certain clarity and feel energized for the day ahead so I hope you do I know that felt really amazing to me so I hope it did to you thanks for joining us that'll be part two quite soon